Kevin. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, David, for having me. Yep. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your journey to founding the Genesis Alternative Ventures? Sure, David. Happy to share a little bit of that uh, story in the lead up to Genesis Alternative Ventures. So I've been a career banker uh, since I started work and had actually jumped onto the buy site for a couple of years before the opportunity to pioneer the uh, venture debt business for a large regional bank came along. So it was quite unexpected given that I came from the old school of finance, investment banking, private equity. Uh, but I still took the challenge anyway, as I felt that I had the technical skills required to make sense of what venture debt was. Yeah. So my, my, my then boss and I subsequently trailblazed the venture debt asset class in Southeast Asia. We proved that what worked in Silicon Valley could also work in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. And by 2018, it became evidently clear that venture debt was here to stay and will be a staple in all startup fundraising. Therefore, when the opportunity came to set up a fund with uh, our third partner, my boss and I left and thus began Genesis Alternative Ventures. Yes. In fact, I heard uh, venture debt many decades and i know the i mean a couple of the bank in the silicon valley they are quite focused on the venture debt i thought it's an interesting solution also that my background as you may know that i have corporate banking and investment banking or the asset financing there's a venture lease in the us has been very popular many years but uh, venture debt is a relatively new in asia as you mentioned right so what is a venture debt and then why right so I, I always like to say that contemporary venture debt is quite young in Southeast Asia, having started in, I'd say, 2015. So what is, so? and you mentioned, David, you mentioned venture leasing. So actually venture leasing, I would say, is the original form of venture debt. And then it just became more and more uh, developed into the form it is today. So venture debt at its heart really is a, loan made to VC-backed startups. And the, the, what, what the venture debt lenders, uh, the value add they are providing really is to provide startups as well as their VC investors the additional capital that is less dilutive and at a lower cost. And really to, and the whole idea is to help the startup to become more capital efficient, i.e use the venture debt for known outcomes like working capital and then reserve the equity for moonshot projects like R&D, yes. product development, uh, country expansion, things like that. Got you. Yeah. So how, I mean, the, how does that work? I mean, do you, is it playing the loan, unsecured loan or the secured loan sometime? Or what is the terms and condition of venture debt as compared to the ordinary commercial law? Okay, so that's a, lo a lot of questions in one sentence. So for, for the layman to make it simple, so venture debt works quite similar to a home loan, uh, a mortgage, in that there is a fixed tenure with regular principal and interest amortization. You ask if there is a collateral or not, I guess, I guess it depends on the structure of the loan. So sometimes there would be some form of project financing like type of structures of which there will be some form of collateral. But by and large, most venture debt uh, lenders do not require any form of collateral. There is a first lien in terms of security, but that's really about it. I see. Got it. So what is your investment thesis? of Genesis alternative venture, for example, sector, geographic market, and uh, uh, also the investment stage, ticket size, whatever. Right, okay. Um, we are a Southeast Asia venture debt fund. So mm -hmm. geographically, we are focused on Southeast Asia startups. 
We currently manage around $85 million in, from our fund one. In terms of deploying in sectors, we are quite agnostic. We look at companies from series A onwards, deploying between two to $5 million per deal. Uh, we currently have around 20 portfolio companies and uh, we continue to grow that pool. Uh, what can we expect from you for next year? And then why did, what is your long-term vision for your fund? Well, we are, we are working hard to deploy the, the fund. Uh, this, the deal flow has been great. There's been a lot of uh, very, very interesting deals that we are working on currently. And we're also spending a lot of time with our portfolio companies. So Genesis, we don't, we don't just focus on deploying money. We, we also focus on value adding to the portfolio founders. Um, trying to understand how we can help them in fundraising, for, uh, business development, even geographic expansion, and sometimes the exit, exit discussions too. So next year will be more of the same. We expect to be as busy, if not busier than this year. And we're also starting to raise our second fund. So there'll be a lot of activities going on. Uh, thank you so much for taking time to introduce an uh, interesting business model to the Asia with uh, Genesis Alternative Venture. Thank you for having me, David. Thank you.